Okay, everybody. I want to welcome you all back to my channel. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas yesterday. I know I did. And we're going to go ahead and redo part 71 of my Breezy 5 and 1 special for this year. But before I do, I need to uh, talk about something with you all. So we'll go ahead and talk about that right now. As most of you all know, I uploaded a couple of um, episodes of the 25 Days of Wheel. It turned out to be one was a repeat and the other was part of our Family Feud Marathon, which is scheduled to air today. And I'll go ahead and explain what happened. What had happened was, I had uh, when I was editing the videos and publishing them back in September, I must have accidentally put the wrong file in, and I do not have the right files for them, unfortunately, which I do apologize about, because you all know I upload tremendously quite a bit, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with everything, and I know it's hard for you guys to keep up with everything as well. So that is what happened. I put in the wrong file, and I no longer have the files with me, so... For that, I apologize, and I'll try to do better next year. But in the meantime, whenever we did the 95 PC version of Jeopardy as part of our Breezy 5 and 1 special, I unfortunately made some errors, and it cost me the game, so now we're going to see if we can do better. Welcome to Jeopardy. Let's begin our game. Yeah, let's do that. All right, no, I don't want to be her. I want to be him. I'll be Richard Marston, and yeah, we're going to use the anarchy to button this time. And we'll take on Vince, and we'll take on Ted. Okay, so it's an all-guys game. Perfect. My name is Vince Thompson. I'm a high school English teacher from Massachusetts. And during the weekends, my wife and I like to direct a local drama club. In fact, right now we're rehearsing Twelfth Night. My name's Ted Smith. I'm a print journalist with a major weekly news magazine. I love my job, and I spend my spare time studying the day's events from Washington. Here we go. All right, contestants, let's begin round one. US There's City. one daily double on the board, and here are the categories. Music. Business and industry. Nature. Food, and finally, leftovers. Okay. Makes sense to me. Good luck. Contestant number one will start with well, leftover, you. The food and leftovers category makes sense because this is being taped the day after Christmas. But I'm starting with business and industry for 100. The answer is... The origin of this corporation was the 1888 founding of the Edison Electric Light Company. Contestant number one. What is General Electric? You are correct. Contestant number one. This is an industry 200. This soft drink company owns Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. Contestant number. What is PepsiCo? You are correct. Yeah. Contestant number one. This is an industry 300. With, uh, with sales of over $1 billion yearly, this brand of tortilla chips is Frito-Lay's top product. Contestant number one. I'm going to say what are Doritos. You are correct. Yep. Contestant number this one. This industry for 400. In 1961, it became the first Japanese company to sell stock to U.S. inventors. Contestant number. Nippon Telegraph and Telephone. No, I'm afraid no. that is not correct. Contestant number three. Kawasaki? I don't think so. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Contestant number one. What is Yamaha? No, the Sony Corporation. Oops. Sorry. Incorrect. Oh, well. Contestant number one. These sunglasses by Bosch and Lom are so named because they reduce infrared and ultraviolet light. Contestant oh, number two. No. Incorrect. Contestant number one. What are Ray-Ban sunglasses? Yes. Yay! That's correct. Contestant number one. Uh, food for a hundred. The jumbo size of these weigh at least 30 ounces per dozen. Contestant number one. What are eggs? Yes, that's Move correct. 200. Contestant number one. Here is the clue. Chupatini, ziti, and masticioli are types of this. Contestant number one. Uh, what is pasta? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number Move one. 300. 
The Latin name of this type of mint is Menta Piperita. Contestant number one. It's peppermint. Yes, so that's correct. Contestant number one. This fermented Korean pickle can be made of other vegetables as well as cabbage. Contestant number three. Kimchi. Yeah. Says out of the hole. You are correct. Contestant number three. Food for 500. Triticale is a hybrid of rye and this other grain. Contestant number one. Was wheat? Yes. All right. That's correct. Contestant number one. Leftovers 100. To provoke trouble is to stir up a hornet's one of these. Contestant number one. Was a nest? Yes. That's correct. Contestant number Leftovers one. 200. On January 27th, 1961, TV viewers began to sing along with him. Contestant number one. Who is Mitch? Yes. Mitch Miller, That's yeah. correct. Contestant number one. Leftovers 300. Here is the clue. As a publicity stunt, this wife of George Burns ran for president in 1940 on the surprise party ticket. Contestant number one. Who is Gracie Allen? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. In 1739, highwayman Dick Turpin was hanged for stealing one of these animals. Contestant number what is a mule? No. Wrong. Contestant number one. Was a horse? You are correct. All right. Contestant Leftover number 500. one. This actor who played John Steed on The Avengers, the subtitle is memoir, The Avenger Returns. Contestant number three. Ben Gazera? Sorry. No. That's incorrect. Contestant number two. Jack Palance? No. Incorrect. For some reason or another, I think it's Roger Moore, but I am going to stay. Patrick McNee, good thing I did not buzz Contestant in. Contestant number one. Nature 100, please. This national symbol is also known as the white-headed eagle. Contestant number one. What is the bald eagle? You are correct. Nature Contestant 200. number one. This tree, which yields the lightest wood, lightest commercial wood, is also called a corkwood. Contestant number one. What is balsa? You are correct. Yeah, Contestant you, you number one. The world's only marine lizard is a species of this lizard found on the Galapagos Islands. Contestant number one. Species of this lizard found on the Galapagos Islands. Uh, what is the gecko? Sorry. Yeah. Contestant number. Any guano? Yes. Oh, yeah. Iguana. That's correct. Oops. Contestant number two. That's okay. Fleur de lis can refer to a lily or to this flower whose name is from the Greek for rainbow. Contestant number two. Iris. Yep, that's right. You are correct. Good job. Contestant number two. You can risk up to 500. It's a daily double. You can risk up to 500, Vince, and that's exactly what I was going to wager. But I'm the only player with any money right now, so here's the clue. About 95% of this fruit in the world is of the European or Vitis vinifera type. Grapes? Yeah. Good job, Vince. Yes. Select again. Here we go. Contestant number two. Now U.S. City's 100. The Martin Luther King Historic District is located in this Georgia capital. Contestant number one. What is Atlanta? Yes, US that's 200. correct. Contestant number one. In 1586, 21 years after it was founded, this Florida city was looted and burned by Sir Francis Drake. Contestant number one. What is St. Augustine? Yes, US that's correct. Contestant number one. This city's Lincoln Park Zoo renovated its cobbler lion house, creating a new area for big cats. Contestant number one. What is Chicago? Yes, that's Tuesday correct. Contestant number one. This Pennsylvania city is the only is the state's only lake port. Contestant number one. What is Erie? Yes, Erie, Pennsylvania. That's correct. Contestant number one. Completed in 1972, this firm's pyramid-shaped building has come to be a symbol of San Francisco. 
Hmm. Contestant number two. Transamerica? You are correct. Yeah. Contestant number music two. Music is all that's left. Like a Rolling Stone was featured on his Highway 61 Revisited album, released in 1965. Contestant. Yes. Bob Dylan? Contestant yeah. number two. Though his version hit number one in 1976, he didn't write, I write the songs. Bruce Johnson did. Bruce Johnston did, excuse me. Contestant number three. Stevie Wonder? I don't think so. I'm sorry. That's wrong. I don't know this one. For some reason or another, Bruce Springsteen is coming to mind. No, it's Barry Manilow. All right. Contestant number two. Leader of the Laundromat was written as a parody of this 1964 song. Contestant number three. Leader of the Pack. You are correct. Yeah. Contestant number three. In 1968, this Beatles song topped the charts for nine weeks, the longest of any of their singles. Contestant number two. Hey Jude, yeah. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number two. Georgia Brown introduced As Long As He Needs Me in the London and New York productions of this musical. I'm going to stay put. I don't know it. Contestant number two. Cabaret. Oh, sorry. No. That's not right. It is not Cabaret. Contestant number three. Does Ted know it? Is it Oliver? There you go. You got it. You are correct. Double Jeopardy. Here we go. Now for the Double Jeopardy round. With two Daily Scientist. Doubles somewhere on the board. Dance. In these categories. Magazines. The Bible, coins, and we'll close it out with authors. All right, here we go. Good. We'll begin the game with the answer there is... In the first century AD, Pliny wrote of the moon's effect on these aquatic phenomena. I'll try it. Contestant number one. I'm going to say what are tidal waves. You are correct. Right, we'll Contestant it. number one. Scientist 400. Diagnostic method developed by this Swiss psychiatrist uses 10 symmetrical ink blocks. Contestant number one. Who is a uh, Braille? No. Sorry. That's wrong. Contestant number two. Okay. Herman Audi. Sorry. Incorrect. Not even close. Contestant number three. I know the answer to this. Is it Herman Rorschach? There you go. Right. Let's keep going. Contestant number three. All right. Leo Szilard Sli actually wrote the letter proposing the A-bomb that Einstein sent to this president. Contestant number one. Who's Harry Truman? Oops. Sorry. Incorrect. It's not Harry Truman? Contestant number two. I just said that! Sorry. That's incorrect. Contestant number three. No! Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Oh, sorry. Oh, well. Contestant number three. That's okay, don't worry about it. Keep going. Auguste Picard was the first man to penetrate this atmospheric layer in a balloon in 1931. Contestant number two. The stratosphere? You are yeah. correct. Contestant number two. All right, keep going. This naval officer who developed the USS Nautilus won the Fermi Award in 1964. Contestant number two? No! Sorry. It's on the That's tip of my tongue. <laughs> Contestant number... Hyman Rickover. You are you correct. Won. Contestant number three. All right, Dance 200. Gene Kelly called them the most popular dance team in the history of motion pictures. Contestant number one. Who were Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. You are. Contestant number one. It's 400. Type of event covered in a horse McCoy's 1935 novel. They shoot horses, don't they? Contestant number three. Jitterbugging? No. Sorry. That's incorrect. Type of event covered in Horace McCoy's 
Sports, 1935 novel, The Shoot Horses, Don't A dance marathon. Contestant number right. one. The answer there is... The Japanese lion dance that's performed during festivals actually originated in this country. Japanese lion dance. Contestant number three. Is it China? Yes. It is China. That's correct. Contestant number three. What are the steps of the mambo involved into this step, step, step of this related dance? Contestant number one. What is the conga? Ooh, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Oh, no. Contestant number three. That is incorrect. The cha-cha? Yeah, the cha-cha. All right. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Contestant number three. As a teenager, Vincente Escudero ran away with the gypsies and became one of the greatest of these dancers. Contestant number three. A flamenco dancer? Yes. Yeah. That that's correct. Lead. Contestant oh. number three. Magazines 200. William Gates, the longtime publisher of this humor magazine, died in 1992 at age 70. Contestant number one. What is Mad Magazine? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number one. This magazine, headquartered in Pleasantville, New York, now appears in 17 languages and in Braille and large type. Contestant number one. I'm going to say what is TV Guide. Wrong. No. Contestant number two. Reader's Digest? Yeah, yes. Reader's Digest. That's All correct. Right. Contestant number two. Okay. Founded in 1888, this magazine adopted a yellow and white cover in 1910. Contestant number one. What is National Geographic? Yes. There we go. That's correct. Contestant number one. Hello. The answer there is one of the two daily doubles. Let's Contestant number one. What would you like to wager? From the number of feathers on Big Bird or the number of Tupperware parties held at Indusley, check this magazine's index. Oh, boy. Uh, what is... I don't know. Oh, sorry. Parkers. That's not right. Testant number one. Oh, well. I'll bounce back. Andy Warhol, who founded this magazine, only appeared on its cover once in February 1989. Contestant number one. Uh, what is Interview Magazine? Yes. There we go. That's correct. Contestant number one. I'll take the Bible for 200. This Israelite slew a thousand Philistines with a new jawbone of an ass. Contestant. Um, who is, uh, Samson? Yes. That's correct. Contestant number one. Blessed are the meek, for they shall do this. Contestant number one. What is inherit the earth? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. We have the Bible for 600. Jesus told Peter that she, he should forgive his brother unto 70 times this number. Contestant number one. What is seven? You are correct. Contestant number one. This eldest son of Saul met his friend David soon after David killed Goliath. Contestant number one. Who was Jonathan? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. And Cush begat this man, a mighty hunter before the Lord. Contestant number one. Who is Nimrod? Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. I'll take coins for 200. In the 17th century, Ireland's St. Patrick Halfpenny had this stringed instrument on its reverse. Contestant number one. What is a harp? Yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number one. 
Named for an emperor, this French 20 franc gold coin was first minted in 1805. Contestant number one. What is the Napoleon? Yes. A Napoleon? That's yeah. correct. Contestant number one. Here. In 1928, a Hawaiian sesquicentennial coin was issued with this explorer. Contestant number two. In reverse. Too late. No. Incorrect. Contestant number one. Who is, um, who is Magellan? Sorry, that's incorrect. No. Contestant number three. Captain James Cook, I think that's right. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number three. Franklin Half Dollar features this symbol, feature this symbol on this, on the reverse. Contestant number one. What is the Liberty Bell? There we go. Right. Coins 1,000. Contestant number one. The, the answer there is one of the two daily doubles. This is the time. I have to do it. Contestant again. number one. What would you like to wager? This state's tercent half dollar was issued in 1935 with the depiction of the Charter Oak. Okay. What is Connecticut? Yes. Yes! That's correct. Contestant number one. All right. For many years, this Dracula author served as the business manager of, Sir, of actor Sir Henry Irving. Contestant number one. Who is Bram Stoker? You are correct. Contestant number one. He wrote his first novel, Robinson Crusoe, at age 59. Oops. I rung in too soon. Didn't mean to. Contestant Who number one. Daniel Defoe. Yes, that's correct. Contestant number one. The first president of the Soviet Writers Union. His name is shared by a city and a park. Contestant number two. Maxim, Maxim Gorky. You are correct. Yeah. Contestant number two. Sultan. This author of such juvenile novel series such as Luck and Pluck and Tanner Tom was an ordained minister. Contestant number three. Horatio yes, Jr., yes. Yeah. That's correct. Contestant number three. Last clue. Here is the clue. This author of the in, 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 Inimitable G's was knighted just before his death in 1975. Contestant, you are. The final Jeopardy Actual category characters. is. Contestant number one. What would you like to wager? The final Jeopardy clue is... Alright, this is it. Abandoned as a child in Liverpool, he was raised by the Earnshaw family. Who is Oliver Twist? Or, wait, no. Who is David Copperfield? Contestant number two, your final Jeopardy response was... Right. Let's Heathcliff. see what contestant number two wagered. It's Heathcliff. Okay, so never mind. But I do win the game with ten thousand one dollars and I redeem myself. Your total? Alright. Contestant number three. Your final Jeopardy response was right. Let's see what contestant number three wagered. Okay. Your total? Well, I didn't get it, but that's okay. Contestant number one. Your final Jeopardy response was Oh sorry. That's no. not right. Let's see what contestant number one wagered. $199 finishing with 10,001, so I've come back to win the game. Your total? Yay, me. Contestant number one, you are now the reigning Jeopardy champion. Congr all right. And I'll see you all for that next video right after this.